I would like to respond here to a question sent in from our Patreon community, and in particular from Steve Shapiro, a member of that community, who gives me then the opportunity to respond to an important question, and likewise to all of you. Steve's question has to do with the military-industrial complex, war, war preparation, and the fact, which he's right about, that I don't talk about that a great deal. And so it caused me to think, <clears throat> excuse me, why I don't. And here's part of an answer. I grew up in the time of the struggles against the Vietnam War and a whole host of devastating foreign military activities of the United States against which first minorities and then majorities politically acted. And so it was, in my mind, something people kind of generally understood. So I focused my work, my economic analysis, on areas less well understood, less often examined, and less subject to criticism. That may have been a mistake on my part. Steve Shapiro's question focuses me more back on it. So let me say a few words. Yes, indeed. The military-industrial complex is a very important part of the U.S. economy. It is, in fact, one of the crutches that keeps American capitalism going. John Maynard Keynes would smile in his grave, seeing how steadily the federal government intervenes in the capitalist economy of the United States by doing something he advocated for times of economic crisis, but which the military has made permanent. Namely, the government gathers from individuals and businesses an enormous amount of taxes, taking money away from them, and uses it instead to provide a privileged sanctuary of endless demand to a core companies, capitalist companies here in the United States. The producers of munitions, the producers of rockets and bullets and uniforms and tanks and ships and airplanes and missiles and all of it. The government sustains those industries, usually with what we call cost plus contracts. In other words, they sign contracts with those industries that pay not only the cost of the ship or the missile the government buys, but a guaranteed profit above that, taking away the risk that capitalists like to talk about them taking, which they do not do here, etc., etc. And this has become a privileged sector of the American economy, this crutch of support for a vast array of industries. Those industries understand they need to keep good relationships with the military. The military want to have their things to use, so they keep good relationships with these companies. Together, they have spread their factories across the country, brought in the congressmen and women and senators. They need to keep this whole game going. And the end result is the very military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned Americans against, but that has been growing and expanding literally every day since. It is a support for the United States capitalism provided by the government, but it has achieved a very privileged status, which is no one talks about it. It isn't questioned. You can spend all day attacking the money that the government gives to welfare, which is a small fraction of what it gives to the military. That is open for debate. But to question the military budget in some general way even by conservatives who like to say they're against government intervention, that's impossible. The military-industrial complex is one of those areas that has been cordoned off, untouchable, and it will stay that way until the judgment day comes when Americans say, why are we doing that, especially in the, after the end of the Cold War, when the rationale 
for a, of a great enemy that threatens us, whether that was true then or not is a separate matter, but that rationale is gone, and it's sort of striking to see that it continues to function to support that sector of our economic system on such a dangerous basis, since, of course, if you have all the troops and you have all the equipment and you need to test it out and you have your finger on the trigger and you have a irresponsible government, then the potential becomes the actual. And the horrors of that, well, we don't need to go into that. You all understand. Thank you for your question, Steve Shapiro, and I hope this is of interest to our entire Patreon community.